What do you think about the workshop battle arc so far? So far, it's pretty entertaining. And I think, obviously, it's not going to live to the promises that was maybe made in Season 1. But it's better than, I think, the first half, which is not saying much. Missing had a pretty cool money. But probably a uh, pretty cool moment. Pretty hype moment. Silly moment, too, with the whole crazy berserk mode. Has some great moments as well to kind of like highlight Prince and Miseng's relationship and Miseng just wants to help out. All right, you do your thing. Mad Dog. Yama's Mad Dog. The strongest E-ranked dude. Relationship with the Slayers, except they hate Fug now after, you know, going through the fight ring. And he seems to be super, super OP. Obviously, the newspaper headlines right now is all about the Prince of Zahad. Sorry, sorry. The Slayer Candidate and the Princess of Zahad, right? Viol and Endorsey, the matchup. They're really hyping that shit up. But there's also Beta, who's maybe the wild card that we should be really, you know, taking note of. Let's begin today's reaction. Hey, it's Daft Punk again. Anak. Anak's Grippers. The Lizard Grippers. Oh, the rematch. Ran versus Anak. Personally, I want Anak to win. Ran is cool, but, you know, Anak's been there since day one for us in season one. I want Anak to win. He loves saying Funky. I think his name is Funk. Maybe it'll be a tie, but I want Anak to win. Mm. Yo, do you not have faith in your princess? All in. All in, baby. Shit. This, this guy might be the one to actually become king of the tower, man. <laughs> this character is the perfect example of failing upwards. It doesn't matter what he does, where he is, he will succeed some way, somehow. He could just win the whole fucking tournament. He could just climb the tower. He could just actually kill, you know, King Zahad, dude. This dude, even Urek Majino should be scared of. How are you still here, bro? Luck. Blessed by God. He's still going on about the fucking revolution. What was the club back then in season one? The Spear Revolutionaries or some stuff? Nah, Parakyo clear is easy. He'll figure it out. Yo, Blue Turtle, bet on him. Mm -hmm. Off screen. Alright, this is the real matchup though, that matters. Woo! And this is actually a super high matchup because it's not quite Princess of Zahad versus Fog Slayer, but this is technically kind of Princess of Zahad versus a member of the Crate 10 family. So, like, this matchup should be super hyped up. Yeah, Quatro and this guy is actually super OP too. <laughs> Helmet. Oh. Isolated 1v1. People will love that more, probably. This guy. Super important. What are you about? <laughs> Someone says Ryuga is Kenta's Asian dad and Jinga is Kenta's white mom, based on the last episode and how Jinga was so supportive of Kenta, but Ryuga just whipped his cape and walked away. All in, baby. Oh my god. I hope today's episode's super hype. Come on, let me bribe you. True, it's not a fair fight. They're too strong. That's right, everything for the ratings. There? This is getting hype. The stage is set. Cap. Has that ever happened before? He just ate a lightning Shinsu charged ball. Did we see that last episode? Or uh, when they first fought? I don't remember. I, I remember him doing some cloud shit and obscuring the vision. But this supplement thing, this is new. This is the new thing. 
It's chewing. <laughs> okay, okay. Things are moving. What's, what's, what's... It, is this basically a mark to indicate that like Ran has eight lightning pill mode? Things are moving. It's not slow motion. You don't have to play this video 1.5 XP. Things are actually moving. So this electric pill thing makes him go full power. Okay. How long does it last? They're like me different from you? Wait, did, 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 did he just shit on Wangnan? That's basically saying like, you're trash bro, but we're strong. <laughs> Ran is like us, not like you. We're all E rank, but you're not us. Is that what he's saying? <laughs> Come on, Anak. Anak's voice acting is really hyped today. Giat. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> They're all eliminated. <laughs> they, they, they didn't even get to. They didn't even get to fight amongst themselves. They just got eliminated by the fucking uh, side effects. Anyways, it's looking like in this new form, Ran is way better. Like I don't know exactly what's changing in his body, but clearly his output of power is stronger ever since taking that electric pill thing. So like, Ana could just lose. But like, who knows how long this new mode will last? <laughs> After Shibisu went all in, bro. But early lead. But early lead usually means a bad thing in these type of shows. Whenever you have a battle scene, an early lead, if it's not settled immediately, usually it means you're setting up for a loss. Lightning ball thing. Okay. Is this a blue turtle family technique? It is. Okay, so I'm like, how would you ever even be able to like come with like an ex like an experiment where like, I, you know what? I'm just gonna swallow the lightning stuff that I make in my hand. But no, it's an actual like blue turtle great ten family technique. Race. For how long though? You fucking idiot! Why would you say? That? The only reason you should say that is because it actually lasts 10 minutes. Like, give him the hope of like, oh, it's gonna wear off, it's gonna wear off. Now it's my time, psych. I got another five minutes left, motherfucker. You can't just tell them about the time limit. It'll end in five minutes. Okay, okay, okay. It's the same frames, but hey, it's still hype. Out of context anime frames. Yep, right over here. Imagine if you don't even last one minute. Oh my god, he just fingered Anak, bro. You said that you couldn't last more than one minute. Ran just fingered Anak. Three bunks. It's very one sided, yeah. She should have just ran away for five, yeah. Man, what the fuck? And I told you, pride always shows before the downfall. But you know why? It's not the downfall of Ren. Because the pride and the arrogance of Anak right now is actually what's the downfall. 
That's a lightning sword, is it not? That's a blade. Lightning sword blade beam. Anax cut. Anak really got washed. Maybe she's a fraud. Ever since she didn't have green March. Sorry, green April. You think that she was just carried by green April, bro, in season one? And season two, Anak is just... Rand is looking really good, but like, ooh, that was a bad, bad look. Beta. Horyang is. Kasano is. But the thorn. What is the thorn? Maybe it's implied that the thorn is also an ignition weapon. And I talked about it when he used the thorn's powers for a bit. A lot of people are saying it's incomplete. But like there was a frame where it looked like Bomb was in the thorn. But it was a simple anime frame that I could be looking too deep into. But it did look like Bomb was in the thorn or something. And maybe they were trying to tell us that he is the thorn. And then if so, the living ignition weapon analogy may make sense. <laughs> Right, there was the other talk, remember? Why would they bring Viol here when it's like really bad for Fug regarding the whole identity thing and other people trying to go against him, right? It's not a good look to kind of have public eyes on him unless you're trying to really rally up, you know, like you're trying to be arrogant and say, yep, we're all the slayers here. Now, it might make more sense if Fug only wants to test the thorn with bomb to test their like final like finished product of like an ignition weapon that might make more sense the perfection of the thorn the crime you committed against us that you must atone for what the fuck did Bill do to you i just met you bro but like, it probably has to do with the experimentations, right? Living ignition weapon. We have Dr. Emily or whatever her name is, right? And it's probably the, the crime probably is that like, we finally have the final product, but it took like Horyang, Kasano, and Beta to suffer to get to that final product. And therefore, that is like the crime that he's blaming on us, even though it should be the fucking scientist that you should be blaming it on and Fug. Party? What party? He is. Funk? Paracule! I... It would be very Paracule-esque if he was the sole survivor in the middle of the stadium, but even his luck wasn't enough. Arrogant, prideful, pride mentioned. Ran in electric pill mode. He's got his bangs all up and shit. Looks cool. I thought the battle was over. Wait a minute. It's not over? The comeback starts now? Wait. As in, literally, because of the injury, you can't run away? No, that doesn't make sense. She would have stayed down. I think it has to do with more of like Anok's development and her growth and about how she doesn't want to run away from her problems and she wants to. Something about like getting bound back and I don't know. It's about growth and development. She must move forward. Base to Anak? Oh, 
死にかけの相手と勝負すんのにビビってるのか終わらせてやるよもう that animation? In mid air, their feet collided and a little bit of electric effect. Was that some blue lock shit actually? Now that I think about it? Where basically, like, the next frame is the ball's already in the net and the kick's already done? Like, that was like a clash between, like, leg and knee. And, and then they kind of like bounced off of each other? Maybe. No, I want Anak to win! I want Anak to win! Arrogance! After you had your entire dialogue of, hmm, your pride is the reason you will never beat me, you took the bait too easy, and now you're like, <laughs> you, you're falling for the same shit, dummy! This actually might make for a, kind of an interesting ship. Well, they're two, they're two alike. Opposites attract, maybe same does too, but they're basically just kind of like same hot-headed idiots. No. No. Does that mean he wins? What does that fucking mean? He did the shit again! The fucking perfect timing, perfect place, right place, right time. It's him. How did this happen? Look at that. They're both belly up like a fucking dead goldfish. I can't believe. Paracule just won. Because Ad and Ran and Arak, I think they're both tired. They're just done. They exerted too much energy. And the Paracule came up right at the right time. <laughs> Bruh. Paracule wins. Revolution, baby. That is the most Paracule thing. That, that, that is like, this scene is literally like, if you wanted to describe what Paracule does, just show him that. The, the motherfucker doesn't deserve anything. But somehow he just keeps failing upwards. Okay, the grand prize of the workshop battle is the living ignition weapon, Juvial Grace. Hmm? Oh, Rand. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hats, hats. Hats is doing this a little solo mission. No sword, bro. Yo. This robot thing movement is fluid. I thought it'd be cringe CGI. This is actually really good, is it not? It looks good. Everything's a sword. The sword is an extension of my arm looking ass, bro. Just he's just gonna start grabbing random shit and just infuse it with Shinsu, then it's gonna be like a Shinsu blade, so he doesn't have to be bound by like a sword anymore. I am the blade. Okay, okay, hot. That was pretty good CGI. Like, like that, that, that. This whole movement there from Hot, I think that was really good. Phase two? Life I get to. I know that last name. Uh, sorry, that voice acting. Yeah. Is Quanta round two? Hatsan.
is this the this has to do with the thorn right literal left with quant because he was unsatisfied with the secrets that yu hansen was keeping and he wanted to uncover the truth i don't know how much more information he's found out but i'm sure this has to do with you know the living ignition weapon juvial grace the thorn you know what the crazy shit is our cope is actually paying off we've been coping saying they saved the budget for the workshop battle arc just cope guys and while the cope may have not worked for blue lock u20 <laughs> who knows how that's gonna pan out but the trailer's looking bad at least tower of god the cope is kind of paying off i'm not i'm not fully convinced just yet right we need to let the entire story play through but like this episode so far is giving me even more cope and hope oh dude this is straight up just that funk reference right funky <laughs> <laughs> he wants to get carried. Power friendship. My man's all cleaned up in a tuxedo. And Dorsey? Is this really in Dorsey right now? What the hell? Oh my goodness, oh, she's ready, looking like she's ready for a date. Dude, when's the date gonna happen with N. Dorsey and, you know, Bomb? God damn. Predator. The Predator. <laughs> Rag, what can I say? You're such a good master that your pupil is just surpassing your expectation. Who is that new girl? I don't think we've ever seen her before. Did Rack also pick up another, you know, person while on his own solo journey? We got a girl chasing after him. This is... Who, do we know her? Is this Yun? No, it's not. She doesn't have the hair clip. It's a complete new girl, right? Is it Yun? Is the character design so generic that I can't even fucking tell right now? The voice acting matches. It's Yun. She looks so different though. It's not Yun. Is it Yun? <laughs> I can't tell. She doesn't have the hair clip. The voice is her though. I think she kind of like retired her hair clip though, didn't she? Because it had to do with the whole Yun family and the whole like, you know, uh, market manipulation with, you know, the flowers and stuff and the whole uh, uh, immorality and the inethics of it. But that, that, it is Yun. This is Yun. I'm so used to her having her hair down, but the voice acting matches. And Dorsey's on the hunt, bro. She is ready to hunt her prey. The predator is on the loose. Bald. Bald. Who the hell? Uh, this person got lucky. Blonde angel girl, sure. <laughs> and it's getting annoying. <laughs> Especially when everyone's just like pissed off because they lost the bet. <laughs> Oi, Baldi, come on. Ignored. Eight lost, bro. What an upset. What a crazy turn of events. Paracule, man. Yeah. That's kind of true, though. And, like, you are already out of balance in the water. How does that work? I don't know. Like, can Paracu just... Cause, is it if you're unconscious? No, it's if you're out of balance, right? I don't know how this shit works. The logic makes sense to me. Losers bracket, baby. Let's go. So the other and Dorsey that we saw before wasn't actually her? Or is this her right now after she changed the outfits? The dialogue was kind of sus when they were describing the end Dorsey saying, wow, she's, you know, so much cute, twice as cute or something in person or something. But like, is this her still? 
she took the dress off and everything and she's in the hat? I don't know. It's, it's just time has passed, right? I just expected her to be in the same outfit. Beta. Beta got a MAGA hat. The thorn. Replica? What's the original? Ah, we have a replica copy, but the OG one is the actual thing. But they said the winner gets Juvial Grace. The real thorn. No shit. It's like telling a homeless person just buy a house. Yo, blonde blue turtle is so weird because you know he had the whole disguise. ファグチームと強権チームは朝祖ファグチームの勝者と決勝でぶつかる。競技中に進む。ファグチームと強権チームは、あの2チームは最初から連れだ。小葉森もないさ。そしてうちの1番手は。ポケモンマスター、レッツ
and I don't think that I'm even glazing. In fact, I'm probably the most harsh person when it comes to grading Tower of God because of how much I love this show and what it's turned into. But it's looking like the cope is actually kind of paying off. Today's episode was just a bunch of different battles. Ran versus Anak, the 1v1, the stage being set of, you know, a quote-unquote Zahad princess versus one of the 10 great clan family members. That was hype. I could, I could feel the tension, I could feel everybody being like, oh my god, this matchup is another level. They even requested to be on a different stage to not fight with the others because of how special they are. And Ran, bro, the lightning pill mode, it's sick. His hair bangs kind of go up, right? He gets a little mark over here. And the way that he uses his like lightning beam stuff, it's actually so sick. Anak? Kind of fraudulent, kind of fraudulent, but everyone has their different strength and she did rely on the Green April a lot before and, you know, barehanded combat, even if it excels at it, who knows what could have happened at this final clash, right? I would have liked to see this final clash, but nope, Paracul. Paracul is the GOAT and he 1v2'd both a Zahad princess and a member of the Tengri family. Truly gonna be the one to probably win this workshop battle art to climb to the top of the tower and defeat King Zahad. It's gonna be King Paracul, man. Letero is doing his thing too. And Hot, I think, just had a great moment of realizing that he doesn't need to rely on the sword. If he can just use his Shinsu in a creative way to emulate a sword, then anything is an ultimate weapon. And now we can kind of go beyond this whole like uh, disadvantage of having a sword that has a surface area that gets dragged due to the friction of Shinsu as the highest, as the higher floors you go, right? There's an inherent disadvantage in a, in a shape object like that, but maybe this will kind of alleviate that. Letero is doing his shit behind the scenes, most likely also trying to get to the truth of what really happened at the end of Season 1. And Endorse is looking fine. The whole Rack and Bomb reunion was so wholesome. But the most interesting plot point right now has to do with Beta. Beta is a wild card, and I don't think he's a bad person. I think he's just upset that he has been toyed with. And he's been, you know, experimented on. And he did call it, like, the crimes that you've, you're have responsible for. I think the crimes really does relate to how, in order to perfect the thorn or to make it, so many different people like Beta had to be experimented on and kind of blaming Beol for that, but probably not. And even though it's her, right? The researcher is a her. His target was a him. And he was talking in we. So I feel like Beta and Bomb, I think that we are the we and the him someone beyond you know this workshop battle who's setting all this up beyond the researcher girl i don't know that's it for me if you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care